be like taking important life advice Americans from a robot. The technology Google could is working on their a jobs. new AI What's up, Skynet? I mean, Internet? I do have a bit of a downer video for you today. But first, I absolutely need to apologize. In song, of course. In song. I'm so fucking sorry here on YouTube. I use chat GPT for a... Okay, okay, okay stop, stop, stop. All right. You see why people shouldn't apologize in song and... That was just weird. Don't do that again. So yeah, I'm I'm here to admit it. I used ChatGPT to script out some of my video, uh, at least for this previous one. It was purely for experiment, to be honest. I wanted to see if people would notice, or honestly, what would happen. It's fucking AI. It's the new hot thing, right? How do we even unpack AI? What isn't AI? It's new. It's scary. It's thought provoking. It's really fucking good at shit posts. Honestly, this shit is funny, dude. I shit you not. The the content consuming monkey in my little brain, right? He loves this shit, dude. I'm always blasting Plankton covers for the past few months. That's all I've been listening to, and. You know, sometimes Master Chief just gives me good advice. He talks me down a few ledges, to be honest, man. This is a, this is a crazy world. Do you, do you not just realize the sentence I just said to you? Go back like five seconds. So a few months ago, I was actually in a pretty deep, dark rabbit hole. I was having so much trouble coming up with scripts and video ideas. I was losing my mind and motivation. So when I did come up with an idea, I decided to shit it into chat GPT just to kind of see what would happen. And honestly, it was pretty... Good. It was decent. I couldn't believe my eyes. All hope I had left was shattered. Just think about it. The effort I put forth coming up with ideas and putting it to paper, then to video, it was a simple chore for this program. All of my hard work, gone. I vowed to never use it. Ever. It felt antithetical to what I am. I'm a person who loves to create. I like to do it myself. I, I could not and I would not use chat gpt ever yeah so i did like i mentioned the previous video uses chat gpt of course i mean only a few parts of it i still had to structure it and go in and fix up a few things and make it flow better i still had to edit the video as well but it gave me a lot of things to say honestly like it just strung all my ideas together and made a cohesive script yeah kind of here's a little peek behind the scenes typically i word vomit onto google docs right i just type, or even put down bullet points. That's all I do. And then right to the recording booth. That's the majority of my videos. It's just me talking. Some of the jokes happen while I'm recording, maybe before, maybe after, and then I insert them. Uh, that's kind of how, how it works. I like the chaotic nature of making my videos. It's it's wholly me. Honestly, that's one of the best things though, I realized. It, it can't really completely copy me and my humor. In the drafting phase, I tried to make a Palpatine joke about streamers taking over. It didn't do it right, and ultimately I cut it out. But in the script, it still made mention of a galactic takeover, which I kept. I don't know, it's it's kind of scary. Sure, it's a little clunky right now, but imagine if the AI tightened up its writing and I outsourced an editor to, I don't know, maybe edit the video for me and I used an AI voice. Can you imagine that? That would make me a pointless piece of the puzzle. That is insane. So, like I said, I went down a depressive rabbit hole, and I'm not sure if I ever got out. During this time, I noticed channels like Corridor Crew using AI, and it, it felt weird. But in their Rock, Paper, Scissors anime, they used an old anime to train their rotoscoping AI, which drastically upset a lot of people. And there is merit to why. If you train up an AI on other people's art and content, that's stealing. Point blank, that's stealing. Huh, deja vu. Now, to be fair, there is another side of this. There's the stance of it being the great equalizer. Some people said it's giving people a chance who otherwise wouldn't have the chance to create something great. And honestly, I kind of get that. But also, I'm honestly not an expert. I think we need to consult a professional. 
Why are you looking at me? I'm I'm not doing the suit up thing. Go cut, cut to the cut to the doctor. Hi everyone, welcome to the Content Doctor. I'm Dr. Butterknife. Today, our patients experiencing symptoms of AI rot. That's when the use of AI outweighs their own individual vision. Related symptoms might include creativity fatigue, thoughts of stealing content and passing it off as not watched or forgotten. In my non-professional professional advice, one should consider the following when using AI. Just like with anything, it's always best to proceed with caution and use in moderation. One might consider using AI with some of your own artwork, maybe generating a library for it. Perhaps you can use an AI voice to start an argument with yourself and take it from there with your own voice. So long as the artistic vision is your own and you're having fun, these tools can lend a big hand in content creation. Why, just look at our patient now. Already on the road to recovery, that rock, paper, scissors anime sequel was created using their own artwork. They're better looking already. We wish Corridor Crew nothing but smiles on their content creation journey. Fucking kill me. Yeah, I'm taking the jacket off. It's it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> so those are just the doctor's orders. I guess it's honestly a similar thing we can learn from the streamer situation. Just don't steal shit, man. Or do. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm tired. Thank you all again for tuning in, and I assure you, this video was scripted out by me. It was. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll catch you later.